A news alert now on CSU's campus in Fort Collins. A woman attacked and sexually assaulted as she was walking here near the Jack Christensen track. That track along College Avenue, north of Pitkin Street. 70s reporter Molly Hendrickson is there live. And Molly, you're learning this attack could be linked to another one last month. At this point, police are just looking at similarities between the two cases. In both incidents, the victims were grabbed here on the track, both by a man wearing a black ski mask. You can see the area isn't very well lit. The light you're seeing on the track is actually from our cameras here. And the nearest emergency call box is all the way on the other side of the track. It's not surprising Jack Christensen track is nearly empty. I've never been scared before of coming here. Just one day after police say a masked man armed with a knife sexually assaulted a woman while she was walking here. She says that she was um, attacked from behind. The last she saw of him then was that he was heading east towards College Avenue. Would you come here alone now? I don't think so. Police are looking into whether there's a connection to a similar attack in September. It also happened on the track when, according to cops, a masked man shoved a male to the ground and tried to sexually assault him. We're also taking a look at what the safety situation is in that spot, and we want to make sure that it's as safe as it can be. The university is now looking into improving lighting and visibility amping up police patrols in the meantime. I have never ever seen anything bad in this area and they usually come late to work out. And the suspect is described as a large man wearing a black ski mask. He had on a Carhartt jacket and jeans and work boots. If you have any information, you're asked to call the campus police. Reporting live in Fort Collins, Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.